Okay, you guys, so we are gonna be coming out with a banger video today. We're taking my pellet gun and stepping it up a notch by we bought, or I bought a suppressor, much more quiet and so much more accurate. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Here in this video, we are going to be going pigeon or groundhog hunting, so make sure you stay tuned to, for that because you do not want to miss that, that part of the video. It's gonna be insane, so stay tuned for that. Let's get right into putting that suppressor on. called a baffle. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. So in the box, we got this from Utah Air Guns. Um, I've never ordered from them, actually. I only ever ordered stuff from Pyramid Air. So here's the adapter you will need. It's basically just like a... is a long piece with this thing that you can thread off at the end. That's where you'll put your... That's where you'll put your suppressor, you thread that on, but if you ever not want your suppressor on, you just screw that back on. You'll take your, your uh, adapter, stick it in there carefully, just wiggle it around, it'll go into a spot. Then it'll sit in like that, and you just thread it in all the way until you get to where it stops threading, basically. So once you do that, really simple you take your dynamite stick I'm just kidding it's a it's your suppressor they put it in these red little tubes I got the Donnie FL Tanto that's what it's called right there expensive right like that your suppressors on and it's a good bit longer let me tell you that what ammo do I use these are my absolute favorite. JSB Hades, um, 15.89 grain pellets. They're absolute my favorite pellet to use of all times. I've used FX and I've used uh, just about any other one. And JSB Hades are my absolute favorite. I wish they came with a little bit bigger, but these just come with 10 round magazines. Let's see, no suppressor. I'm kind of used to this, so it shouldn't sound any different. Just shooting at some random vegetable. I'll read you what it says. Japanese style vegetable fried rice. It's kind of loud if you don't. I mean, it's pretty loud. Now, suppressor. With suppressor. Wow, that is a difference. I'm going to play be like with suppressor and without suppressor real quick, and you guys can tell. Okay, you guys, so it's the next day, but uh, I tried this test yesterday whenever I filmed this video, and I didn't like the way it, uh, it turned out, so I was only using a bipod, so today I got out the old sled, and we are going to be super precision so we can get the maximum result. So, I'm going to load up this magazine, and we're going to take a 5 shot group with suppressed, and then a 5 shot group with not suppressed. Got my 10 shot magazine loaded up, stick it in there. Take our five shot group. First, I'm going to go with suppress. Okay. Pretty good. Still pretty good with the suppressor. This is really good, actually. Wow. Now we're gonna take off the suppressor. No suppressor. Now let's see what results we get then. Dang, it is so much quieter without that. Ugh.
Let's go check it out. So here's my no suppressor group. There's one, two, three, four, five. Not bad. That's like still a really good group. But then look at that. That is literally one, two, three, four, five. Literally, they're in this. All the holes are connecting. Here you have three holes connecting and two holes connecting with a gap in between. Suppressor did a lot better. Okay guys, I have one more thing video. You guys normally like whenever I shoot the cans. So we got out a can. I only have one more can, I couldn't find any more, but hey, one can's better than nothing. Okay, here we go. That was interesting. <laughs> You hit him. Oh, he's going down. Yep. Seriously. Where yep. He's. That's so. I love that. It feels so redeemed. 